Raise thy cup, seek answers on high. Who defies death neath every sky? Oh, I messed up my mission. Go find something to sober me up. Chat, my belly's growling. <laughs> oh. I must quench this rumbling in my belly first. The temple of Crouching Tiger, they say there's meat there. Worth a look. Rat meat is insufferable. Huh. Help me score a tasty treat, will you? Uh, it drives me mad. I've been craving a taste of that juicy jade lotus. Can you find me some in this barren land? Oh, I wouldn't mind some meatless meals from time to time. Hmm, I have stumbled upon some interesting leads. The realm of gold does hold a connection to this desolate land. I hear the realm of gold is where the sun sets. There, they held rats above all others. Hmm, and somehow, before we knew it, the realm was gone. Quite odd, that is. Oh, <laughs> this is good. You and I should explore that realm together. I... Men in our time do not see the ancient moon, but this moon hath shone on men of yore. Behold! Be it the realm of sunset or the realm of gold, it's but an echo of the past. Legends speak of an ancient, colossal beetle in these sands. Days 
of practice. Eight arms of mightiness. <laughs> We'll settle our scores when I reach my full mastery! your sake. I'd appreciate a thank you, but you gave me torn arms. Now, in compensation, I'll claim yours! I see now. There's never ascension from those sacks. <laughs> Worthless limbs be gone! Old Taoist fooled me. My challenge was a delusion. Forget it! Face me in a fair fight. You shall learn to best that corruption. Find the needle on purple cloud. Mountain! I might find your remains. <laughs> Young master, please forgive my impropriety. I am but a widow, here to mourn my late husband. Show some kindness and excuse my manners. We lived in peace in our mountaintop home. But out of nowhere, wicked insects swarmed the place. They occupied our village. 
I was the lone survivor. I intended to retrieve my late husband's keepsakes. But the Gwai's leader, the Scorpion Lord, has discouraged all my attempts with his death sting. <laughs> It's been long since any soul has trodden these hidden bounds. Pale, young master. Your face is gaunt, complexion sallow. Both remind me of the venom's touch, as the worm also besets you. An oddity thrives here, the armor worm. Consuming its eggs grants great power. Yet once the larvae hatch, they devour your insides, leaving an undying husk. My fellow disciples, hungry for power, consumed those eggs. And now, most are beyond remedy. Young master, if you will, end their suffering in my stead. They were my fellows. I can't. Splendid. This is it. Vile and evil it is. Hence, I must bring it back for thorough study. <sighs> Young master, in our brief acquaintance you were kind enough to do me a favor. Why not extend your kindness by leaving your head with me? That would please my master. These impudent mortals have overreached themselves. Their demise was of their own creation. But you, you are special. What poison them only strengthens you. Keep it close and wield it wisely. You'll see its potential. Go, release him. Being trapped there is a torment worse than death. I've watched him grow up. I cannot bring myself to do it. Their minds yearn to ascend, yet fame still holds sway. Their glory fades through time. 
Resonant waves profound. Evade
What deed must he then be hung for all to see? For what deed must the waters they govern roam free? For to pave the way for the journey. And not a day passes that we do not yearn to avenge him. Yet every day, we find ourselves adrift without a home to call our own. I'll kill you to unbind our destinies. His head was hung when he defied the celestial court. We dreaded the Jade Emperor's wrath and pleaded with Master Yuan to help us abscond from our waters. But he warned us we might hide for a time, but not forever. In the end, someone will come to claim our lives. He had more to say. Sires to sons, we are destined to die for the righteous cause. I trust him, yet I won't obey. May your path not once more be a mere thread in their grand design. Not now. When will you reunite? <sighs> Destiny repeats itself. Always. <gasps> Why not cast the die once more?
Eat me, will you? Oh, I was, I was on a treasure hunt, but I ended up being the hunted. I owe you my life, sir. I'll share the treasure with you once I find it. Say, why is there nothing but Yaoguais in this so-called Buddha's realm? Can I look to you to save me again, sir, if they come back? Green without, round and sweet. Red within, a summer treat. Where can I find something like that in this frozen land? I heard that Buddha planted watermelons here hundreds of years ago. One bite grants prolonged life. Yet, when the cold bites all around, without your powerful spells, uh, there's no way I can find it. Someone once saw a chubby boy jump from the cliff with a watermelon in his arms. He rushed to the edge of the cliff, but saw no movement down there. Seemed like certain death. But suddenly, he heard the boy laughing from beneath, on and on. Bewildered, he fled from the cliff. This story may offer a clue for my treasure hunt. Maybe the watermelons were planted under the cliff. Time and again I tested you, and I saw nothing but gullible goodness. <sighs> Our brother does misjudge as well. It requires no effort to trick you. You will never be the destined one. Let me help you end your sorry life. Nothing more. I've done as our brother asked. Till we meet again!
your faith has led you here. <laughs> Rest easy. You won't find those noisy chantings and pain screamings here. Hmm. <laughs> A nice, ripe melon. <sighs> mm, Want a bite? Mm. Mm. It's better than you think. Sun Wukong used it to trick that disciple of mine. Now you've found this place, I'll teach you a trick neither of them knows. Your hand. Binder. It hurts no foe, but binds yourself. You'll come to understand its use. An old friend of Sun Wukong came to me, wanting some peace. I led him to the Great Pagoda. Have you paid him a visit? <laughs> they say you are the destined one. But if destiny is set, what difference do our actions make? Refinement is the way your grim fate alone speaks for that old Long's bullying. <laughs> Pray refrain from blaming him. His ill temper persists unaltered since the first day of our long acquaintance. Regret not, for his power endures. His desire be but one more pill, gladly bestowed by me. Couldn't do it! 
The young may yet be taught. Mm -hmm. <laughs> With this pill, I'll gain the strength to unseal that precious place, the Painted Realm. A peaceful haven I built with my fellow deities. Now the monkey is in place, we should gather once more! <laughs> Drops, honey brew, sheep curd. <sighs> it retains the energy of both this world and beyond. That's all it bores me. Cinturia, the scrap you're all in can stay no more. Deities never hold back. You're far below him. Train well before returning here. like a Yagwai from these parts. Uh, have you come to earn the Blackwind King's favor? Ah, uh, hear me. That bear is but a hollow shell. He can grant you nothing. Don't waste your time on him. He lies about cheating death and even the treasures. His followers are, all of them, deceived. Blackwing Gwai is a sly one. He preaches virtue with a heart full of greed. Oh, I wouldn't entrust him with my plea. I don't know why you are here, but you should be vigilant. Now, I'm pressed for time. Fare thee well, then. Black 
when mounted to here, we meet again. Those rats. They tied me up on sight for no reason. Joking, they prepare me for their king's table. Uh, this place crawls with Yaogwai's eager for a bite. But don't worry. If they bite into me, they'll bite more than they can chew. This place is a jumble of rats and cats, all at each other's throats. And the Yellow Wind Sage keeps silent. How odd. Who would swear fealty to such a king? Let's make haste and go. Never linger at a peril such as this. Just leave. These rats are no match for me. And I can make my own way out. Offered me nothing. Yellow Brow, the Buddha, was my next plea. Only after meeting his grace in the New West did I see. I wasted my life for others and missed much joy. No more journey now. My king is suffering, yes. But does one not weave the threads of one's destiny? Peace is living for yourself. His grace speaks true. Indulge, and you shall be carefree. This joy, it's new to me, like never before. My king once sought wisdom in such a Dharma place. His son, too, was a disciple of a Bodhisattva. Now I, too, walk on this path. I hope I'm following in my king's steps. So, my friend, why don't you stay here and tread this path with me? for the wisdom of the Hundred-Eyed One. But he shut his doors and made me prisoner in this lair. Tales speak of these insatiable spider guys. They could use a strong male like me to consume and practice. Much I owe you today, my friend. Without your help, along the way, I would see no more of the Flaming Mountains. <sighs> Never heard tell of the Destined One, my friend. They say he marches and fights on a quest to bring back the Great Sage. The Great Sage and my king once swore a brotherhood. After the sage fell, the king dismissed every one of us. He became someone, not himself. 
If the Destined One is really the one who can bring back the Sage, he can count on my humble support. My plea for aid was met only with silence along this path. But in turn, I've seen through it all. My mind is made, friend. I shall rely on none but myself. If none shall aid, I will act on my own. Should our paths cross at the flaming mountains, we'll toast to our reunion. <laughs> now, take great care. From yin and yang arises two sides. From land and sky emerges the divide. Now you shall be feasted upon. But In his steps you've trod, from his eyes you've seen. The circle has led you back, have you gleaned any truths? <laughs> Long has an old friend waited for you. Destiny ripens. This last mural holds the key. Go forth. No one sees this myth more clearly than him. Easy feet getting here. I know you didn't come to keep me company. In your heart, there must be something you can't get over, or someone you can't let go of. Same goes for me. I can't kill that monkey. No one can, except himself. But at last, I see. This is the only way. 
He had no choice. And he 